How do you know if what you're watching is real journalism? Not a talk show, not gossip, not a meme. Who can you trust? It's time to find out. Welcome to Atypical Anchor. I'm Josh Helmuth, an anchor for Good Morning Colorado. Hope you tune in. Journalism should be fair, impartial, always putting the truth first, not misleading, right? We've seen what happens when bias or misinformation erodes trust. I have an entire video on why calling out the media doesn't make any sense because it's not a monolith. What's dangerous is when talk shows pose as news and misinform viewers purposely. So how do you know if what you're watching is gossip or real news based on facts? Well, first, I highly recommend you rely on your local TV stations and newspapers. They're hardworking journalists, part of your community, who are paid to only report the truth. But if you're watching cable or any network news, there are some pretty cool tools out there that can help you differentiate between real news and shows that are just meant to dish out their opinion. Now you may have seen these before, they're called media bias charts, all right? There are two that I wanna show you today. First, let's go over how they can be used and then I'll talk about whether or not they're reliable or not themselves. Okay, first you have the all sides chart. Started in 2012, tracking 800 sources it's very impressive. You'll notice the two L's, the C, and the R's. Based on their research, the R's stand for, these are the news outlets that lean heavily right. The sides, the news outlets on the left, lean heavily left. And then the center are, are strictly news organizations that typically just dish out the facts only. And you wanna notice too that, like right here, for CNN, where it says leans heavily to the left, that's for online news opinion only, not their news division. Same for Fox News over here on the right that says opinion only, not their news division. And in the middle, the Wall Street Journal, they, they're center for the news only. You gotta be wary of, of their opinion sections as well. But this is just a very good basic guide if you wanna look, something, look at something very quickly. Now, all sides is short and sweet, it's concise. Is it reliable? Well, they use unpaid readers, volunteers, who self-report their political bias after they use a bias rating test when they read the web content from these networks. They can only see the article's text, not the name of the outlet. They also use editorial reviews from staff, academic research, surveys, and they have a mix of staff who define themselves as left, right, or center. They also appear to do the best they can at making the entire process as free from bias as possible. The only downside, well, they don't show reliability or quality of reporting. It's a nice, short, again, sweet thing to share with friends and family, but if you want real in-depth charting, you have to use the Ad Fontis chart. Ad Fontis chart, the Ad Fontis rather, means to, to the source in Latin, just in case you're wondering. Okay, Ad Fontis, to the source. Rates, reliability, and political bias as well. It first appeared after the 2016 election and it just keeps improving with more research. I mean, this really is a really neat tool. If you look at your first glance, it's really overwhelming. But to, to simplify it, everything from top to bottom is uh, the reliability score from uh, essentially zero to 64, okay? Everything on the left-hand column leans left, everything on the right leans, leans right. Everything in the center, along the center, center line, means it leans, or doesn't lean either way, it's, it's just center. If you're above this line right here, these are news organizations that typically are more reliable, and if you're towards the middle, you're more fact-based. All right, so we can zoom in on this and take a closer look at their research. Basically, for if you just want facts only, no opinion, you want the news, everything in this area is typically the most reliable, according to Ad Fondas. We're talking about the AP, the Associated Press. You're just getting the facts only, the basis uh, of, of every story, the basic information. The Weather Channel makes sense. I hope they're just reporting the weather. CBS News, happy to say that ABC News has a great reliability score as well. Um, NPR, again, facts only. You have some uh, other minor news outlets like Stars and Stripes, the Military Times. Uh, I've never heard of UPI, I'm not familiar with UPI, but these three fall nearly directly in the center and they're very fact-based, which is good news. USA Today, NBC, around here as well. Now, once you get below this line, you get into a little more territory where it's, maybe it's not as reliable. Of course, CNN leans left. Um, if you're over here to the right, Business Insider leans right. And, you know, you want, <laughs> you want news organizations to stay up here. Once you get down here, you're not looking at anything good. Uh, Fox News gets a very low score. It's on the right hand 
side, of course, everybody knows Fox News leans right. Uh, new, new networks like OAN, they fall right on this line right here. Right on this line right here that actually borders between reliable for news, but high in analysis and opinion content, but also borders on some reliability issues and or extremism. Not good for a new network like OAN. But let's say you want to simplify it even more because this is a little overwhelming. There's nearly 200 news outlets in this alone. You can actually pay for a subscription. I think it's $5 a month and you'll get nearly 400 news outlets that give you a rating. But let's say uh, you want to type in, uh, there's a new network called Newsmax. All right, where does Newsmax fall? Okay, Newsmax, again, falls about where OAN is right here. Leans right, but it is right on the border of some reliability issues and or extremism. Uh, something you want to be very wary of if you're watching an, a, a, such a such a news network. So again, you can search for very specific news outlets. You want to type in the LA Times. Uh, again, they lean left, but they are more factual based. They are more reliable. And let's say again, you want to display all the sources. Let's say you want to filter um, news organizations that only have a score of 45 and up. There you go. You're only going to get those mo the most reliable news organizations right there. And then if you want to filter uh, sources uh, based on their bias range, uh, you know, if you want, say you want uh, only right-leaning news sources. So you're going to do this right here, only right-leaning. Here are your most reliable right-leaning news sources up here at the top. But again, you don't want it to lean too heavy either way. You want it in this box right here. This green up here means it's the most reliable for news. Very little opinion. All right, that's very important. So how does Ad Fontis work? Well, they have 30 paid analysts who rate articles. Again, they have an ideological balance of people who define themselves as left, right, center, and they appear to go to great lengths to make sure they have a healthy mix of people from all beliefs and all backgrounds that allows them to hopefully read and report in an unbiased manner. Now, I do have links below for each of the Ad Fontis charting, the all sides charting, and their methodology, how they all make their judgments. That's below if you want to go into more detail. Okay, nothing's perfect. These charts shouldn't be used as gospel, but they are neat. They're literary tools to help guide you if you're looking for fact-based reporting. And if I haven't heard of a network, I look at these all the time to see what their score is. The biggest, most important thing to note is make sure you're watching or reading the actual news, not an opinion talk show or the op-ed section. Thanks for watching. And remember, most importantly, let's lift each other up. Let's be atypical.